Hello, Brick and Mouse Hi. Syndrome, Rob, Ash, Ooh. and welcome back to another imaginary oh. festival lineups of Reddit. Ooh. Definitely got it right that time. Yay! Yeah. It's only taken me eight, nine episodes at this point. I don't know, you're the one who edits them. I just, yeah. I just, I just, I just I'm trash. Right, so we're back to a regular lineup this time. Then we're going through the stages day by day, smaller stage to larger stage, grouping the non logoed acts together. So this doesn't take half an hour to get through one episode. Okay. I'm trying to maximise your time because your time's valuable, not just mine. Okay. Slightly, slightly tweaked version of the format there, but make I'm my, showing you how it's done. It'll make my life easier. So hey, right. Cool. Starting off. Deputy Van Halen. Dog Tooth stage. Okay. We have non logo Dax, Guar, and Oathbreaker. Ooh. Oh yes, already. Yeah. I'm already in Guar, definitely. Yeah. It's a much quicker way of doing this as well. Yes. And headlining that stage, we have Pig Destroyer. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be a good start. I like Decent this stage so far. Can't argue with that. It's nope. all good. Right. On to the Avalanche stage. Our non logo act are four year strong dinosaur pilot. Oh, okay, yes, I'm liking this. Got an it's angle like... so far, it's got a little a bit of a flavour going on, and headlining it, refused. Oh. Definitely a stage for me this day. Oh, um, yes. I'm excited by this one already. On to the second stage, non-logoed acts, our support acts. We have Puppy, mm -hmm. The Who, and Behemoth. They got me. It's a good I'm day. Here, it's, yeah. This is a good one so far. I'm really liking this lineup. Oh, yes. So our logoed acts. First of the two on this stage, Skindred. Nice! Perfect positioning for these boys. Oh yeah. Really good one. Headlining it off, we have fellow countryman, Bullet from a Valentine. Ooh! Wales Day! Wales Day! So yeah, good so far, yeah? Oh yeah, they definitely got me in. On to okay. the main stage for this day. Okay. <laughs> so, our non-logoed acts for this day on the main stage, we have Employed to serve, yes. Covid in Cambria, yes. and Manskin, which Ooh. seems like it's about main skin, but apparently it's about four skins. Manskin. They're a good band, I'm not complaining. I have no idea who they are, I don't do Eurovision. I did. Sue. Ooh. Headliners. Okay. For this, the first intro day of this slightly new tweak lineup. I'm making this longer for myself, I should stop doing this for the next one. Some 41. Yes. Followed by Architects. Yes. And the absolute main headliner for the day. Bring me that sweet, sweet headliner. Green Day. Oh, I'm in. I'm already in. This okay. this would be great as a one day festival, to be honest. Oh, yeah, most definitely, but. Don't make download a one day festival. Cool. So, on to day two? Yes, let's on do it. On to day two. Alright, well, the second day better be even better or live up to the hype. Cool, so back down onto the dog tooth stage. Okay. Our non logoed bands, we have. Diamond Head and Conjurer. Oh, slightly tasty. Slightly yeah, tasty. this yes. is getting to be a stage for you straight away. Oh yes. And I'm I'm here with you for this headliner. Go. On. Cradle of Filth. Oh, our first gig together. Cradle of Filth always going to hold a special place in my heart. Damn straight. Yes. Box tickets. <laughs> All right, let's keep going then. The dog Tooth stage is a traditional classic Dog Tooth stage. Yes. This guy's doing really well on this one. Yes. On to the Avalanche stage. They did well yesterday. Let's see if they can Definite do Definite certain feel to it. So here we go. Non logo bands, Dance Gavin Dance, and Young Guns. Oh, a bit of a throwback there with Dance Gavin Dance. Okay, oh, I'm yeah. kind of in for this. And headlining it, go on. Twin Atlantic. Oh, that's been a long time since I listened to them. It's a nice throwback day. It's really good here. I'm very much enjoying it. Yeah. So let's get on to the second stage, shall we? Yep. On to the second stage. We have start off with the non logo bands. Yes. Party Cannon. Pinch Dumb's Slam Beats coming in. Yeah. Following into Dimu Ball Gear. Ooh. And then the Temperance Movement. Ooh. Very good. It's got oh, yes. a slightly heavier stage on this day. Very much enjoying it. So let's see what they top it off with for the main event. Okay, let's do this. Greta Van Fleet. Okay, I see where they're going. I definitely see where they're going. Followed into Alter Bridge. Okay, I won't be at the stage, but I support the decisions. I'll be there for the uh, sub acts. That's absolutely fine. But I'm probably going to wander off for something else. Okay, well, let's see what the main stage can bring me. So let's bring on that main stage. So, non logo bands. We have Ice Nine Kills. You're there. You've already bought a ticket. Spirit Box. Then, While She Sleeps. 
Yes. This is a decent event so far. Very much enjoying it. So the headliners for this, the three of them. Limp Bizkit. Ooh! Parkway Drive. Oh. A little bit backwards, that one. A little bit. Um, Can the headliner bring it back to us? Um, I don't know if they can. Bring it on. Bring me the horizon. Okay. Okay, I see where they were going with this. I get where it's going. Got the momentum behind them, but personal choice after this one. I personally would go and watch them just to say I'd seen them. Yeah. Because I wanted to see them when I was younger. Got out of it in my older years, but I was a good fan like 10 years ago. Yeah. It makes sense as a headliner, but again, download isn't for everyone. You're not going to get everything you like at there. I'm sure I'll be happy after Limp Bizkit just going and having a pizza and a wank. Exactly. I mean, you need time between bands and... To go have a pizza and a wank. Yeah, you can't be there all day every day. If you were, you'd be the person organising. Yeah. All right, let's carry on. Cool. Back down to the dog tooth stage for day three. Oh, they better keep this going. It was really good so far. <laughs> this guy has perfected the lower two tenths here. I love it. So, our non-logo bands, we have Evile. Ooh. And obituary. Ooh, yes. If they if they can cater to you for this, I know people go ooh, ooh, ooh bloodstock. Yeah, that's the point. That's the point. They can cater to me, Sherry, and Jordan for this. They've catered for a whole load of people to get them in to sell tickets because that's what it's about of a festival, making money. People remember that. Yes. All right. Well, who's the headliner? Headlining on this one, we have Suicide Silence. Ooh, okay, this person definitely knows what they're doing. Can they work for Bloodstock for the future? Please. Please. <laughs> Get rid of Icky Vicky and bring in this guy. That'd be great. Icky Vicky. <sighs> yeah, good stuff. So, on to Avalanche stage. Yes, let's do it. Because you know these guys got something good going on again. Okay, well, this got to keep the momentum going because we've still got to be partying after oh, yeah. three days of, you know. Oh, you will be. So, on non logo bands, we have. Straight from the path into real big fish. Oh, that is definitely a party tune. <laughs> it's a fun one. Bring on those horns. Yeah, I'm just, I'm... Bring on that ska punk. Let's yeah. have some fun. Alright, well, you've got to tell me the headline of this one now. So, headline in this stage, The Used. Oh, that is a massive bad line. It is, but it's bringing it down a bit. We're not going out on a massive crack high. We're going out on a nice mellow high. Make sure everyone can sleep before exactly. they go and drive off tomorrow. But you know what? I'm in for it. I exactly. love it. Let's keep those roads safe. I'm down for it. It's a good act to choose. It just saves people going on a massive coke binge all night. So that's perfect. <laughs> on to the second stage. Yeah. Second stage time. We have non-headline, non-logoed bands. Lorna Shaw. Ooh. Dragon Force. Ooh. And the Marmosettes. They're actually quite good, Marmosets. I checked them out. That's fair. After they kept showing up, I do check these bands out. And Marmosets, pretty good. Dragon Force would be good for some guitar wank going on. To like, fit in with me going having a pizza and a wank. And Lorna Shaw, I have no idea. I'll have to do my research on that. I've heard good things about Lorna Shaw. I believe um, my two friends are going to go and see them this week. So they're cool. going to have a good time. Excellent. Headlining this stage. Bring it on. Oh, I'll bring this the right the fuck on. Papa Roach. Oh. Alexis yes. on fire. Oh yes. Okay, yes, yes. This is turning into a tasty Sunday. Tasty this is Sunday. pretty damn good so far. Can't argue with it. No, we can't. On to the main stage on the final day of this quite excellent download fest lineup so far. Yes. We have non logo bands, Go on. Raised by Owls, Good Start, Into Ginger, Tickets Sold. And followed off by Clutch. Oh, that's a good day. It's a very good day. It's a very good day. It's a brilliant mix all over the place of everything so far. Yes. These headliners are going to be a proper nail in the coffin. It's it's a good finish for it. Let's do it. Disturbed. Oh, yes. Into Trivia. Oh. And our grand finale. Our Sunday headliner. Go on. Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? I suppose these would technically count as... Our classic act of the weekend, seeing how times are moving on at this point. System of a Down. Oh. Yes. This would be a damn good lineup. Yes. Bands that deserve to be there, 
according to the public opinion, with Bring Me, Green Day, who should have done it years ago, and System, who are at that level. This is a damn good download lineup. Out of ten, what would you give it? Oh, just because they have some of my favourites on there, and there was nothing on there I really have an issue with, mm. I'm going to go for a solid eight. I'm agreeing with you on that one. It is a download fest. It is a solid eight. I would probably buy a ticket at this point. I would. Um, the only reason I can't get it higher is I have to wander off and go have a pizza and a wank at certain points, so can't argue. It's the perfect way to play a festival, as you know. Yeah. Bands, pizzas, wanks, whatever gets your float, float going. Yeah, that's fine. Damn good festival, that one. I would very much go. I would. Um, the lower stages, the tents, have got a definite feel to them, have got a theme, which is fine. A lot of people take issue with that. But I like it. I think that's a really good way of doing it. I think that's how it should be done. Yeah. That's how it was traditionally done. I think it makes sense to have like sort of themed things going because then people know where they want to go. Exactly. Because like have your variety at the two main stages because you wander into the arena and you see that you can't miss it. Whereas yeah. the tents, you know, once you're in the tents, I say you're kind of like lost to the rest of the world. So enjoy your themes. Go yeah. for it. That's how it should be. I think as a classic sort of download lineup, you yes. get lost in your little world, and it sells day tickets. It does. It really does. So if if you had a, if you had a throwback sort of warp tour, sort Ooh. of day in a tent, get no effects. You know, granted they do their thing with um, slam dunk, but you know, it, it could work better to sell more. Works really well. Probably cutting yes. all of this out doesn't matter. So yeah, that is an excellent one. Um, double eights all around. Yeah, this person did really good. Nice job, mate. Do another one. Really liked it. Me? If you have, I've probably got it downloaded. Cool. Till next week. See you. Bye.